never spawn. Tactic here. Um, here's some duels that you're probably gonna see, but uh, sorry, it's so limited. Literally, I feel like I'm the only level 90 melee class that actually bothered to level in the beta. All I see is shadow priest, monk healers, and um, warlocks. But I hope this guy this gives you a perspective on how strong enhance is going to be and how literally relative this is to the video I made about PvP burst because it, it applies. It's, it hasn't changed even though after like three builds it's pretty much the same because enhance just uh, people don't bother with it because they feel like it's still bad in PvP but you know I would disagree. Alright we got a warlock here now. I freeze him in place and yeah unleash weapons him. I drop tremor or grounding totem here because a lot of the times warlocks instinctively fear you at the very start so I don't know I grounded something maybe it was a fear I thought it was like I thought it was gonna be instant fear but until now I fear it figured out this warlock's back because he doesn't spec into the instant fear capacitor totem and I put my cooldowns and then practically he dies in this he yeah he's bad Another warlock here, and it's really laggy there. Sorry. Same kind of deal. Just trying to close the gap against them. He's done a lot more damage than that other warlock for sure. But I don't want to pop cooldowns. I want to pop cooldowns when I'm in a better position because I know if I pop cooldowns and ancestral guidance, I'm gonna top myself off. So that's why I'm not really worried about my health. I thought my capacitor totem went off, that's why I popped my cooldowns. But regardless, my health is going up and he is dying. So you can't really do much about it. Alright, we got a Shadow Priest now. Uh, I was kind of scared because uh, Shadow Priests are right now are kind of. They do a lot of damage. But this guy, he's not probably as well as the other ones I'll show you later in this video. So just again closing the gap. I am getting spammed with fears right now, you'll see. And it's so fear and I trink out but pretty much blow all my stuff and I get feared again from that stupid thing that auto fears you. And then I pop my cooldowns and again it's just like there's no no match. Alright, here's a bit a little bit lengthier one with the Shadow Priest. I try to something new and try to cre create pressure at the very start by using capacitor to totem, and I just teleport it there, and I get him, and I I think I get a early trinket on him. Yeah, early trinket, and then he fears me again, and so I'm just keep going, 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 and then all of a sudden I am s I start getting all these this damage taken to me, and I don't see him casting anything, and I'm freaking out. So I pop my cooldown, pop the special guidance, and I start to go up to health like because this guy's doing a lot of damage to me I'm freaking out he silences me I'm spamming healing surge get I get myself up though tables have turned now I think he popped all his cooldowns I popped my cooldowns but now the scenario is switched yeah so again he just, he's trying to play a little bit more defensive now as you can see now I try to pop my wolves get anything I can on him uh, the power word barrier is setting even above a lot right now. He's spamming flashy light, and then again with the low or the high cooldown on the interrupt, I couldn't get that much dispersion. What I see about this is if I can time my capacitor to when his dispersion ends, I can time it and get a kill. But I think I missed. But as you can see, uh, I'm about to flee from the duel. So I don't know if that was his way of doing it, but uh, you can obviously see that I had the upper position in the duel. Alright, in this one we got a DK. Finally a melee, right? Um, I don't really go crazy at the start, I'm just waiting for him to pop AMS, and then there he goes, because against Ascendant AMS is uh, really good. But yeah, I see him, he pops AMS, now I'm about to pop my pools. Ascendance, Fire Alley, no Stormlash, and my Ancestral Guidance. I trinket this, practically top myself off the Ancestral Guidance, and just 
kind of ignore his uh, defensive cooldown. Alright, another melee class. We got a warrior here. I don't think he's particularly good, but I'm gonna try to duel him. Again, I'm not particularly worried about uh, anything. I'm just waiting for him to pop anything defensive before I blow up on him. And see, even then, I messed up and tried to hack casting Hex during Blazestorm. I forgot to cancel a cast, but I did get the freeze on him so you couldn't get the charge on him. And so I was like, alright, he popped Retal, I'm gonna pop Ascendance, so you can't do any retaliatory attacks against me. And sure enough, that's enough. Alright, and again, we have another Shadow Priest, because that's all I can f fucking find in the Rotar. So I ground his Mind Blast, because I know that like a lot of people do that. Uh, Again, I'm just waiting for anything to pop, but then I'm just getting impatient. I was like, fuck it, okay, I'll just pop Ascendance. I won't even wait for Dispersion, because I don't have to do damage and wait for a Dispersion. I'm like, okay, I can still deal with it. Waste some of my cooldown, but I should be fine. So I freeze him out of Dispersion, and then Storm Strike, Lava Lash, and then Elemental Blast in a second, and it's done. I guess what I'm trying to say guys is Enhance right now is in a very good place and I foresee it staying in the same place because um, a lot of people don't play Enhance and don't know the potential of it because of the bad rep it has. So it's again I don't think it's going to get nerfed or the damage just because there's so few little people playing in, in the beta and there's less feedback going on. Like in comparison like if you looked at the patch notes um, everybody got nerfed but we got we our wolves got buffed, our elemental blast got buffed, and um, I think our shocks got nerfed, and our searing totem got nerfed, and our fire no our fire elemental got nerfed. But again, that's minor because we got a trade back between the two spells. But yeah, so look forward to mob guys later.